What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be taking a deep look at the Heavy Barrel attachment in X Defiant, and the reason behind this is the Heavy Barrel will increase our damage values, and this can obviously be extremely beneficial for some guns. In saying this though, I think a lot of people see increased damage and they think this is definitely the attachment I should be putting on everything. When it turns out, the Heavy Barrel is actually going to be hurting you more than helping you with most of the guns in the game. And there's really only a handful of exceptions here that actually benefit from the Heavy Barrel on a regular basis. And the simple reason for this is there is a trade-off to getting this bonus damage with the Heavy Barrel, and that is we're going to be losing 10% to our rate of fire. And with many of the guns, that boosted damage that you see isn't enough to actually change the number of shots to kill. So if you're killing in the same number of shots, but with a slower rate of fire, then you're going to be killing slower with this heavy barrel compared to not using it at all. So that's why I feel this video is quite important. So you guys know which guns actually benefit from heavy barrel and which guns it's going to be in your best interest to stay away from this heavy barrel. But before we dive into these individual weapons, I just want to point out, just like with my cleaners video, where I broke down that bonus damage you get with cleaners, I can't possibly cover every single potential combination and range and body multiplier when using the heavy barrel with cleaners versus phantoms and mixing all those different combinations in. There's a lot of room for things to change when it comes to that. So there may be a few exceptions here that I don't mention in today's video, where the heavy barrel will be helping when combined in a certain way with something else in the game. But I'm mainly just going to be focusing on the rule of thumb here the things that are going to be benefiting the most consistently against regular players and then i will also cover the heavy barrel versus phantoms but i'm not going to be mixing cleaners damage in there as well that's just way too complicated so without further ado let's first focus on the guns that benefit most from the heavy barrel against regular players non-phantom users people that just have 100 health and in the assault rifle category, quite surprisingly, the assault rifles don't tend to benefit very much whatsoever when it comes to this heavy barrel. In fact, when we're talking about body shots in the maximum damage range, which is typically what you want to focus on, that's where the majority of your gunfights should take place, there's only one assault rifle that benefits from the heavy barrel, and that is with the M16. We're capable of getting a four shot kill in the maximum damage range, whereas without the heavy barrel, it's going to be a five shot kill. Outside of that for assault rifles, I should mention with the MDR and the M4A1, beyond the maximum damage range, they are getting a benefit from the heavy barrel. It'll take you one less shot to kill in those ranges, but you are going to be suffering in the time to kill potential with those in the maximum damage range. So in my opinion, generally not worth it. And then with the ACR 6.8, in that brief window of mid range, we're capable of getting a five shot kill now rather than six if we're not using the heavy barrel, but that's such a small range window where we're benefiting and all of the other ranges are going to be suffering, so I would just stay away from it on the ACR as well. Additionally, with the AK-47, while it doesn't benefit from body shots at all with the heavy barrel, it does gain a really nice benefit with headshots. Because without the heavy barrel, the AK-47 is going to require two headshots mixed in with two body shots if you want to get a four-shot kill. Whereas with the heavy barrel, now you only need to land one headshot mixed in with those body shots to cut that down to a four-shot kill, which is much easier to do, so you'll be seeing those four-shot kills much more consistently. And then on top of that, if you're capable of doing this with the AK-47, if you hit all three bullets to the head, you can actually get a three-shot kill, which can give you a very, very fast time to kill in this game compared to most of the other guns in the game. But with that one, it is going to be happening less often than just mixing that one headshot in with the body shots. So when it comes to the assault rifle category against regular players, I really only see myself ever using the heavy barrel on the M16 or potentially on the AK-47. Although I would say neither of them really rely on the heavy barrel to be competitive. Next, let's dive into the SMG category. And there are a couple SMGs that definitely benefit from having the heavy barrel on them. And these are the Vector and the MP7. With both of these... When you put that heavy barrel on, it now allows you to get a 5-shot kill in the maximum damage range rather than a 6-shot kill. And then in the second damage range, it's now going to be a 9-shot kill rather than a 10-shot kill. So it's actually helping in those first two damage ranges, and it will give you a very noticeably better time to kill. So that is going to be quite helpful with both of those guns. And therefore, I would highly recommend using the heavy barrel on both of those. But outside of those two, I would say stay away from the heavy barrel. The P90 and the MP5 just don't benefit from this at all. Then taking a quick look at LMGs, none of the LMGs benefit from the heavy barrel against regular players at 100 health. A couple of them will benefit against phantoms, but we'll get into that toward the end of the video. So generally speaking, unless you're playing like a full team of phantom users, I wouldn't recommend the heavy barrel on these. Then let's get into marksman rifles, and both of the marksman rifles that we currently have the game benefit quite nicely from the heavy barrel, because with both of them, they're going to be a guaranteed two-shot kill anywhere in the body, whereas without the heavy barrel, you are going to have to hit them in the upper torso if you want to get that two-shot kill to the body. 
So this is just going to improve your consistency quite a bit with both of the marksman rifles. As for sniper rifles, at least without the cleaners faction, there is no benefit whatsoever to using the heavy barrel on them. And that goes for regular players as well as phantoms. However, if you are combining with cleaners, I do want to make a mention here. You are capable of getting faster burn damage kills if you're using cleaners combined with the heavy barrel on both the TAC-50 as well as the M44, depending on where you're shooting your target. In general though, I'd probably just stay away from the heavy barrel on both of those. Then when it comes to shotguns, only two of the three shotguns right now are capable of using the heavy barrel, the M870 and the AA-12. And in both of these cases, you're just going to be far better off with barrels that improve your range rather than this very slight improvement to your damage, which in the case of the M870, it now makes it a seven pellet kill instead of an eight pellet kill up close. But honestly, that's not really going to change too many situations. And with this lower rate of fire, it's going to make those follow-up shots that you often need in this game that much slower. So just stay away from the heavy barrel on the shotguns. And that just leaves us with the pistol category, which we can't use heavy barrels on pistols in this game, so that's obviously not going to be part of this video. So there we go, that covers it for the guns that work well with the heavy barrel against regular enemies with 100 health. Now I just wanted to tag on a quick section on which guns are best to use heavy barrel with if you're playing against a bunch of phantom players, or maybe there's just that one really good phantom player on the enemy team and you're really struggling to kill that person you may want to give these guns with the heavy barrel a shot. And I'll try to blast through this section faster than the previous one. For assault rifles, the MDR and the M4 will both be a seven shot kill in the maximum damage range against a Phantom player if you're using the heavy barrel. Without the heavy barrel, it was an eight shot kill, so it's helpful on those guns. Then with the Vector and the MP7, not only is it helping against enemies with 100 health, it's also going to be helping against Phantom players. Instead of a seven shot kill against them up close, it's going to be a six shot kill. So this just further solidifies the fact that those guns benefit very heavily from the heavy barrel. After that, I did mention with the LMGs, a couple of them do benefit against Phantom users with the heavy barrel, and these are the RPK-74 and the M249. Both of these will be a five shot kill to the body up close versus Phantom players, whereas without a heavy barrel, they're a six shot kill. And then finally, both of the marksman rifles once again benefit when using the heavy barrel, this time against Phantom players, because without the heavy barrel in both of these cases, if you want to get a two shot kill to the body, both of your shots have to hit the upper torso. Whereas with the heavy barrel, now just one of those two shots has to hit the upper torso. The first one can hit him in the belly, for instance, and the second one in the chest, and that will still get a two-shot kill against a phantom player. So you're going to see far more consistency in that two-shot kill. And there we go. That wraps it up for the section covering the heavy barrel versus phantoms. However, there is one last little topic I wanted to explore with the heavy barrel, and this is, while it doesn't state that it has any impact on our recoil, typically in an FPS game, all else equal, when you change the rate of fire of a gun, this will often have an impact on how much recoil you experience as well. Because the faster the rate of fire, the less time there is between shots for those shots to recenter. However, if you guys saw my video comparing recoil recovery and recoil control, you'll know that in the game's current state, recoil recovery, or that recenter between shots, is not working properly in X-Defiant's current state. So with that in mind, in theory, we should see no notable difference in our recoil plots. So I did some testing here with the MP7, both without as well as with the heavy barrel. And based on what I'm seeing here, I'm not seeing any obvious difference in the general trend. Any minor difference you see between these recoil plots could very easily just come down to the inherent randomness of recoil. And there's just no obvious trend here. So for those of you guys that were thinking with this slower rate of fire, we were going to see less recoil using a heavy barrel. That's not the case. The recoil will be the same. And with that, that's finally going to wrap it up today's video on the heavy barrel attachments in X Defiant. And when it comes to my thoughts on this, I actually really like how they handled the heavy barrel. I like the fact that it isn't just the obvious choice. The moment you unlock the heavy barrel, you just put it on every single gun because there are some notable trade-offs here and it's definitely going to be helping some guns much more than others. And, and many guns in the game, it actually is just going to be straight up hurting them. So I do like the fact that you need to know what you're doing. You have to actually look into the stats, do a little bit of math, or, you know, just watch my videos in order to know whether or not it's worth using. Now, of course, these are just my opinions, and I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. How are you feeling about the current state of balance with the heavy barrel in X Defiant so far? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.